From packed pits to packed grandstands, this past week in microsport racing did not disappoint. Hey, it's Alex Karplitz and welcome to Microsprint Madness, where I give you all the info you need regarding microsprints. Last week's results and highlights, upcoming events and interviews with drivers, promoters, and personalities in microsprint racing. This week, I'll cover the amazing start to the season for one Indiana driver, results from the Milestone Home Services Outlaw Nationals at Port City, the Midwest Winter Nationals in Illinois, and the season openers for two California tracks, including the rebirth of Park Plaza Raceway on Friday night. Plus, a preview of the action coming up across the country this weekend. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll give you the info on how to view all the best microsprint racing action from across the country. To say that Kokomo, Indiana's Cole Kirkman is off to a hot start is an understatement. Kirkman has completely dominated the two weekend Midwest Winter Nationals at the Southern Illinois Center in DeCoin. Kirkman found victory lane in both weekend events from the Heartland Auto Racing Tour season's opening weekend, captured a Saturday night main event for the Hyper WFO Winged Outlaw Tour, as well as securing the win in Friday's A Class event. Over the two race weekends, Kirkman has won seven features of a possible 12 that he's competed in. Kirkman has been on the podium an amazing 10 times, and these are against good fields of cards, averaging 21 in A-Class to the mid-30s in Outlaw Wing and Non-Wing. Bravo to Cole on a great start. In addition to Kirkman's heroics over the weekend, Chad Elliott opened the WFO series by capturing Friday night's race over Darren Stark and Reed Whitney. In the Hart season opener on Friday, Cole Coons found the runner-up spot while Parker Perry completed the Hoosier podium sweep coming home third. In Restrictor, Cameron Sneed won Friday's A-Main over Landon Minor. Mason Skinner raced to third from 11th, and Chase Schnott came home fourth after starting 16th. Junior Sprint saw Kaiser Kramer get the victory over Dalton Clary and Paxton Perry. On Saturday night, Kirkman got both the WFO and Hart Series victories, but couldn't pull off the trifecta as Hunter Pruitt brought home the A-Class victory over Parker Perry and Jake Cooksey. In Restrictor, Cameron Sneed completed the weekend sweep over Cole Bennett and River Cone, and Landon Minor won in Junior Sprint. Port City Raceway in Tulsa hosted the Milestone Home Services Outlaw Nationals. Friday rains pushed the two-day event to Saturday and Sunday, but a huge field of cars were on hand regardless. In Friday preliminary action, 2023 National Open Wheel 600 A-Class champion Brant Woods transitioned to the big wing and bested the 87-car field for victory. Jeffrey Newell, Joby Miller, Shelby Hinton, Colby Sokol, and Cole Tinsley completed the top six and secured the lock-ins for Sunday's finale. On Sunday, Cole Tinsley took advantage of the six-car invert for the dash and captured the pole for the 50-lap feature and would not be denied as he led start to finish to capture the $10,000 winner's prize. Joby Miller came home second, Chris Carroll came from ninth to third, while defending Outlaw Nationals champion Steven Snyder ripped the top early to come from 18th to 4th, and Colby Sokol rounded out the top five. The restricted division was competing under NOW 600 sanction, and both Friday and Saturday were full points nights for the season series. 37 cars were on hand, and a shakeup to the season points occurred as point leader Jude Algeyer couldn't qualify for the A main on Friday night, and that allowed Saturday night's winner Kyle Hooper and Sunday's winner Braxton Wieger to jump ahead of him in the season-long point standings. Wieger now holds an 18-point lead over Hooper with Algeyer third, Deacon McRoberts fourth, and Caden Lane fifth as the tour resumes in two weeks at Electric City Speedway in Butler, Missouri. In junior sprints, Yukon, Oklahoma's Lathan Knott swept the weekend. Out west, two California tracks contested their season opening events. On Friday night, Plaza Park Raceway, now under the management of Jake Kagopian, Jason Myers, and 1-4 Promotions unveiled the totally refurbished speedway to the largest crowd in the 59-year history of the track. A large field of cars were on the grounds to put on a show for over 1,500 fans in attendance. Jeffrey Paul outran Austin Torgerson and TJ Smith to the checkers in the 29-car non-wing feature, and Jet Yanis captured the Outlaw Wing main event over KJ Snow. Quinn Thorne traveled up from Tucson, Arizona and continued his hot start to the season, with an A-class win while Braden Graham captured the restrictor win and Logan Banks was the junior sprint winner. Just a quick word on what Jake Hagopian and his team have done at Plaza Park. I go to a lot of tracks and wonder what some paint and TLC would do for particular tracks, and Jake and his partners have done so much more than that. It's great to see the fans and race teams turn out and support great tracks and events in our sport. 
I've included a link in the description below to a Facebook video that the track posted that gives a tour of the facility, what they've done to it, and what's still ahead. The KKM races at the facility in two weeks should be amazing. Congrats to Plaza Park Raceway. On Saturday night, many of the same racers traveled 25 miles or so to Lenore's Jet Bowl for their opener. In non-wing outlaw, Maddox Salmon got the win over Cash Lovenberg and Austin Torgeson. Winged outlaw saw KJ Snow improve over his runner-up finish on Friday night at Plaza Park to get the win over Jeffrey Paul. A-Class saw Lucas Malden in victory lane over Quinn Thorne, while Bryce Roush captured the restrictor checkers and Lee Usel from Hanford, California got the win in junior sprint. The Jet Bowl returns to action on April 6th. If you're enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming content. Three tracks will be back in action this weekend as early season action continues. Port City Raceway begins their season points racing and begins the celebration of their 50th season at the 1 8th mile track in Tulsa. Congratulations to Shane Stewart and his team and good luck on a 50th campaign. Stock non-wing, A-class, sportsman, restrictor, and junior sprints will all be in action. Adobe Mountain Speedway just north of Phoenix continues their spring season on Saturday night. Non-wing outlaw, stock non-wing, restrictor, sportsman, and junior sprints are on the card. I'll be at Gulf Coast Speedway in Alvin, Texas on Saturday night for the second night of points for action. Hyper Racing, stock non-wings, pipeline, MD, turf tire, micros, sportsman, restricted, and junior sprints continue the fight for the season points championships. If you enjoy micro sprint racing and can't make it out to the track, Consider a subscription to Dirt to Media, where you can catch all the nation's best microsprint racing from the comfort of your home or your mobile device. Follow the link in the description to subscribe and catch all the action. If you enjoyed the video, smash the loud pedal on the subscribe button to help grow the channel and you won't miss the next episode. Check out the video on screen for one of my most exciting races of 2023 as I charge from the back at Gulf Coast Speedway. Enjoy the races this weekend and I'll see you next week on Microsprint Madness.